We still know God is on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still know that he has the last say. That's right. We got to understand that this is no surprise to him. And those of us that know him and trust and believe in him, we shouldn't even worry about what's going on, that we want to do the right thing. Yeah, yeah. And we want to stay safe. We want to keep ourselves safe because God gave us that that sense of security that if we trust and believe in him, he will see us through. Yes, he will. I want to talk about the book of First Thessalonians. Paul wrote this book and Paul wrote this book to the Christians uh, in First Thessalonians mm -hmm. teaching them uh, how to please God and as you know pastors and teachers and and and, and, and this is what they try to do. Teach us how to please God. Teach us how to get a relationship with him so we'll know how to please him. Because he is owed everything that we can give him. He's owed, owed that from us. He, he, he loves us enough that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, yes. And we can give him the time to learn how we can please him. God is on the throne. Yes, he is. And he got the last word. He's, under, he's got all this under control. He does. Yes, he does. Paul sends this letter to, to Christians at Thessalonica saying, and telling them how to please God. So I want you to turn your Bibles to uh, 1 Thessalonians 5. And I want you to put a pen in that. Because you know me, I always have some other scriptures and hopefully some other nuggets for you. I want to read verse 18. And I want to read verse 18 from the King James Version. And it reads, In everything, give thanks. All right. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. And I love it when you read it because he's talking to you. He yeah. said concerning you, let me, he concerning me. And when you read it, he's telling you he's concerning you. And then the Living Bible reads, no matter what, no matter what happens, always be thankful. Yeah. For this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. And the NIV reads, Give thanks in all circumstances. Yeah, yeah. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And what I love about each one of those sayings, each one of those verses, it's got that little nugget in there. If you read it from NIV, it says give thanks in all circumstances. All circumstances. If you read King James, it says, in everything, give thanks. Yes. And then the living Bible reads, no matter what happens, always, always. be thankful. Yeah. And I love King James in the new NIV. It says, in, in everything. Not because of everything, not, it says in everything. In everything. Give thanks. In everything, give thanks. For a great, every great why, there's a great 
how. Let me say that again. In every great why, there's a great how. Your worship is born of your experience, tribulations, the Bible work it, patient. Paul says in Romans 5, verse 4 and 5, each patient experience and experience hope. And hope does not make us ashamed because the love of God is spread abroad, spread abroad in our hearts. The only way to probably worship, the only way to truly worship is out of what you've been through. You go through something and God brings you out of it. <laughs> you can't do nothing but worship. Say that. When you go through something mm -hmm. yeah. and He steps in and brings you through it. I know that's right. You can't do nothing but worship. Amen. You can't do nothing but thank Him. Worship Him. Be thankful in everything. Yeah. In everything. Yeah. I can tell my son's testimony of things that I know he's been through. That is not my testimony. I can preach a sermon of another pastor's sermon, but it's not my sermon. Talk, talk. You can pretend to carry on like someone else at church. But at the end of the day, that's not you. Well. That's not you. That's fake and phony. But if it's not born out of your experience, it's not really, it's not really true. It's not really true. But when God has been good to you, come on, say it. When God has really brought you out, yeah, your worship take a different turn. Mm -hmm. I know that. Your worship right. have a a different flavor. Yes. Talk, evangelist. A, a, a different way about yourself. Yes. And people start seeing it. When you, God has really been, been good to you. Yeah, yeah. Everything kind of shift, everything changes. You no longer want to hang out with the wrong crowd. You no longer want to do the things that have took you away from God. You no longer want to do those things. There's a change in your way of talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change in your way of walking. You no longer just go to church just because it's Sunday, just because Come it's on. Easter, mm -hmm. just because you got up this morning and said, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna go to church uh, this Sunday. All of that shifts. All of that it shifts. takes a different yeah. turn in your life when God's been really good to you. Now that you know the why, now that you know the why, you get excited. You get excited about the how. Come on. You know why. You worship now because he's been good to me and he's he set me free. He brought me through some some hard times. Mm -hmm. yes. So now that you know the why, you get excited about the how. Let's see now. Let's see. Let's see. Paul teaches 
as how to worship. He says, rejoice forevermore. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. Rejoice forevermore. Always rejoicing. Always excited. Always be rejoicing. Always full of joy. Full of joy. So I want to go back and read verse 16. All right. And I'm going to go on and read 17. It says in the New King James, Rejoice evermore. Mm -hmm. Prayer without ceasing. Prayer without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. Uh -huh. For this is the will of God. In Christ Jesus. Concerning you. All right. Concerning you. Give thanks. Give thanks. In everything. Concerning you. Yes. So. Rejoice. Evermore. Evermore rejoice. Paul didn't say for everything. But we're going back to that nugget that it was in there. He said, but in everything. In everything. Not for everything, but in everything. Rejoice. Mm -hmm. Pray always without ceasing. Yes. Mm -hmm. In everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. Yes. See, I'm not grateful for cancer. All right. But I'm grateful in the situation. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I'm not grateful that the coronavirus is everywhere. Come on. But I'm grateful in this situation because yes. I know God is in control. That's good. That's good. I'm thankful in this midst of it all. Uh-huh. And I'm grateful that God said in the midst of all the storms that we go through, mm -hmm. he will never leave us nor forsake us. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice evermore. Thank you. Paul's telling us to rejoice and be thankful because we have a God that loves us. Yes, he does. And when someone loves you, mm -hmm. you want to please them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's telling us how to please God. How we can bring a smile to his face because he wakes us up each and every morning and all he asks is that we follow his ways mm -hmm. and believe and trust in him. Rejoice forevermore. Paul wrote the book Thessalonians and and he I'm sure he was like you gotta do this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Gotta do this. But this is God's will. That's God's will. And the thing about it, he said it concerning us. Mm -hmm. Concerning us. Yeah. Concerning us. In Romans 12, 15, tells us rejoice with those who rejoice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to weep with those who weep. Mm -hmm. When we rejoice with those who rejoice, we, we rejoice with them because they're full of joy. Uh -huh. And we don't want to do anything to bring that down. We want to bring them up mm. with rejoice. Yes. They're weeping. We want to make sure that we're not going in with, oh, it's all right. You ain't got to 
No, it says, weep with those who weep. Mm -hmm. Bring them up. Fill them with joy. Let them know that there's a God that is there for them. Yeah, yeah. Let them know that this is why he sent his son to die on the cross for us so we wouldn't have to be afraid. We wouldn't have to Amen. weep and mourn. But if they're weeping, it says, weep with those who weep. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Be happy for them yeah, yeah. when they're happy. And be there for them when they weep. Yes. Because that's what God does for us. He never leaves us nor forsake us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But, in, but to recognize that in the midst of your worst situation, the presence of God through his spirit can fill the soul with hope yeah. and the heart with joy. Yes. It's filled with joy. Yes, joy. Filled with joy. Not happiness, Come on. but joy. See, because happiness is about what's happening, but joy is in spite of what's happening. Amen. Amen. God makes us enough trouble with happiness to fill us with contentment mm. and joy. That's good. Because we're not always jumping up and down because we know that maybe around the corner, we know that maybe around the corner, there could be something we're not expecting. Mm -hmm. Something we're not expecting. But if it comes out of our faith, it comes. Our faith has been tempered. Our joy has been made complete. Joy. Joy. Joy comes in the morning, it yes, says in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you're going through, joy comes in the morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Because we are not happy always. We're not always happy, mm -hmm. but we are always full of joy. Keep the joy. You see, happiness come and go, but joy, it shows in our facial expression. Mm -hmm. You know, every time you see somebody, they be like, how are you doing today? They be like, oh, I'm happy. I'm doing good. Joy in the face expression. Yeah, yeah. Joy shows in the handshakes. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Joy shows up when everything around you is falling apart. Mm. You still have joy. You still have joy. You still hold your head up. Yeah. You still give God your best hallelujah. Say that. It don't matter who's sitting next to you. You want to put your praise dance on. Come on. You are full of joy. Yeah. Because no matter what, joy comes in the face expression. It shows. It covers. It shows. You don't matter who you're sitting next to. That's right. Or what they think. Come on. About you. If God has been good to you, come on, come on again. Your joy springs up. The scripture says, in the life. Thessalonians 17, pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. 
I want to leave you with some things right now because God is so good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. The first thing is rejoice. There should be praise and giving thanks in everything, in every situation. Giving thanks in everything. Mm -hmm. Give thanks to him. Give thanks. Because when we give thanks, let us God know that we appreciate him. And we have to appreciate him because he is our source of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no other right. that can do what God can do for us. Say that. Say that. That should be prayer. Prayer continuously. Praise continuously. Mm -hmm. Prayer was not to be limited, though. Come on. Prayer is not to be limited at all, but should be a common and consistent element in our daily lives because yeah, yeah. if we don't have it in our daily lives you go to work each and every day and you know that you got to get up in the morning come on and go to work and punch in a clock mm -hmm. just you do this consistently mm -hmm. you do this each and every time this is the way our prayer should be this is not something that oh i gotta do it this is some, this something should be in our daily routine Talk, evangelist, talk. We shouldn't even have to even give it a second thought. Yeah. That's, it's there. That's good. It shouldn't have to be something that, oh, I got to do it. It should be in our daily lives. Yes. Yeah. Here's what praise and prayer without ceasing means. It don't mean walking around. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, oh, bless the Lord. Oh, just continually uh, uh, praying out of control. It's not, it's not, that's not what it means. You don't want to be praying out of control and, 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 and someone say something to you. That's, that's all you got. Because God wants you to come and speak with them. Jesus, he talked to people. Mm hmm and there was a time he prayed with them, but it was it was consistently, and it was at the right moment. So no, he don't want it to be an out of control prayer. That's not what it means. Here's what it means. To pray without ceasing is to picture a person with a little car. With a little cough. Okay. You're not coughing all day. But there's a tickle just in the back of your throat. Uh huh. That every now and then you have to cough. You know. <clears throat> <clears throat> fix it now, fix it. A cough is possible. You're not coughing all day, but a cough will come up at any moment. Mm. Just clearing you, just <clears throat> clearing your throat. Not all day. You're not praying all day, but if you need it, if you need it, it's in the back of your throat. You're not praising all day. But when God lets something come your way, a praise just just jump up in you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right away. It's right in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. It's just right there. I mean, it, it, don't don't let don't let don't let don't let you get that. 
Because we're thinking about what God done for you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. There you go. It comes right there. Yeah, yeah, Sit yeah. back at your throat. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. It's always in the back of your throat. In the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. And people who know you, they know not to come calling you on your job, talking about how good God been to you and good God been to them. <laughs> You're trying to make me lose my job because the praise <laughs> is going to take, on. take over. Talk about it. Don't call me when I'm cooking. Tell me about the Lord. Burn something. I'm about to burn up my food now because I got a praise Talk that's coming on. Talk. Uh -huh. I can't do nothing but praise the Lord yeah. when the time comes. But we also have suppressing coughs. Mm. Pride is a cough suppressing. Yeah, yeah. Hatred is a cost suppressing. Uh, talk to that. Judgmental spirit suppresses the praise cough. Mm. We can't allow different things to interfere with our lives, with our daily lives. Envy is a cough suppressing. Uh, Lust yeah. is a cough suppressant. That's good. God That's good. wanna get a praise out of you. But he gotta get other things out of you first. We gotta know and learn how to please God. If it, 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 it was just somebody here that's listening. They just don't think you got it all together and think no one else can do what you do because you got it all together. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody suppress your call. Amen. Don't let nobody suppress your praise call. Talk it, talk it, say it. I need just one person to know that that's that cough of hallelujah and that cough of praise <laughs> thank you Jesus it comes up it comes up yeah yeah we've been suppressed by storms that comes in our lives mm -hmm. we've come through them God's brought us through them God has brought us out of these messes that we've gotten ourselves into. Yeah. Yes, Thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank you. Messes that He keep us from getting in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We're not good. We're not good until we come through. Mm -hmm. Here's just we just have to be careful. And God is just keeping us because we're righteous. He's not just keeping us just Come because on. we're righteous. Talk about the it. The only reason we haven't stepped in some situations, if that's you that's saying that you ain't never had to be in, you know, you've never been in a storm. Well. The only reason you haven't stepped in it yet is because of God's mercy. God's I need a real worship here. I need a real praiser here. Mm. Who not here praising because you got it all together. Come on. Praising because nothing's happened in your life. Mm. You just smooth sailing. Because of everything is not a bed of roses. All things not a bed of roses. You just know that at any moment a praise can come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And if it's real, it'll happen in your car. Mm -hmm. If it's real, I know that's right. it can happen while you're sitting at home. Yeah. Cough in the back of your throat. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been so good to me. Hallelujah, Lord. I just thank you right now. Right now, Father. It just comes up because it's a tickle <clears throat> in the back of your throat. Amen. You look in your closet and you see how God's blessed you. Hallelujah. You get in your car and you see how he's blessed you. Amen. You see that. Amen. He's blessed you because there was one time you didn't even have a car. Uh -huh. Sit down at your table and you're eating your food and you want to say thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. because don't want to there's don't some people don't know. even have that to do. Yeah, yeah. They don't even have food to eat. Not letting on a roof over their heads and a table to sit. Mm. I don't even have to be Sunday morning. It don't it don't even have to be Sunday morning. You just want to thank him. God your word. Yeah. Thank him for all that he's done. Yeah, yeah. When you didn't have anything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> that tickle in the back of your throat yeah. just comes up. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you then when you in a church like God's in a Christian fellowship where everybody hug you and love you when Praise there was God. a time that you didn't think you had anybody. Praise God. Thank Praise you, Jesus. God. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> thank you, dear Heavenly Father. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. You thank him because you didn't have that. And now here it is, you have it. You don't have to worry about when you come into church, you know, God's will, Christian fellowship, that you're going to be turned away or you, come you're going to be looked at a certain way because you haven't been here in certain Sundays. You're going to look a certain way because you walked off in the door and you didn't have the right clothes. Or you're not you, you're not going to be looked at that, that way right. at God's will, Christian fellowship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's enough to say thank you, Jesus. Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It's in the back of your throat. Don't let other people suppress your call. Mm. Right. Don't that. let them suppress your hallelujah. For every why there's a how. Yeah. In everything, thank God. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Concerning you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord, for allowing me yes, Father, to come with your word. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you. Bless us all, Lord. Bless us, Master. Bless Lord, if someone heard this word, and just thought about how can I come to you, Lord, to please you? Yes, Father. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I thank you for allowing me to speak the words you have me speak. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for choosing me. Thank you, Lord, for being there through my hard times. And Lord, thank you for. Thank you, Master. Thank All that you have done. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.